Hey, what's up guys? This is Poker Express, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over some of the sickest poker runouts. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. All in. Bob's first act, he's going to move all in over to Tan. And a call. All in and a call. That's it. Go. Bob shows ace king, ace of hearts, king of clubs. Tan shows ace of clubs, three of hearts. Bob is currently in the lead here with his ace king. Tan's tournament life is at risk here. Hey, you got club. One time. You got club. Now? Uh -oh. Tan's using this one time now. Let's see the flop. Let's go, boy. Flop Let's is. go! Queen of with Diamonds, five of spades. Let's go with the two. Four of clubs. Or the three. Bob is still in the lead with his ace king. Tan to pick up a straight draw. Get that deuce. Let's see the turn card. That deuce. Turn card is the five of clubs. Tan to pick up. Four queen chop. <laughs> Ten of hearts. Something like that. <laughs> queen four. Queen four. Queen or four. Chop. Yeah, but the deuce would be better. The deuce would be better. All right, he's going to need to see a three, a deuce, a queen, or a four. He's going to leave us in second place. Let's see the river card. River card is the queen of hearts. <laughs> Chop pot, queens oh and fives god. with an ace. Oh my god. All right, take back see, your bets. That's Next my hand. Time. Let's go. <laughs> What to do, what to do. Um. All in is the bet. Jeff raises. Works all every in. time but the last time. It's an all in raise. Back to Scott in two. I'll call. Oh, he's going to call. I'm not sure what he's got. It's Ace Jack. I can see now why he called. Pocket nines over We're here. We're going to have a race for the championship. Scott's going to be looking to get a little bit lucky on the board to knock out Jeff. Jeff hoping to fade some outs or just put a nine yeah, right in the window and shut it that. down right away. Okay, as you guys can tell here. Jeff well, this pot is worth 2.6 million in chips. Close. Obviously, if Jeff wins it, he's going to stay alive and have a lot of chips in the heads-up battle. Scott wins it. Game over. All right, Eric. Let's go ahead and see the flop. Then run the nines. Here we go. The flop is ace, four, queen with three diamonds. Three diamonds. That is what Scott needed to see. Neither player holding a diamond. That's not a worry. Let's go ahead and and now it's Jeff looking to come from behind. The turn is another diamond. diamond. Well, now Jeff can right, chop right. with a diamond on the river, hoping to find a nine for the win. Right. Scott's hoping to find a black deuce. And the river's another diamond. What an unlucky break for Scott Hastings. Pulls way ahead on the flop, and then the board flushes out for a chop. Wow. Yeah, so many chips. It's really going to take a lot for one of these players to come back. But I've seen it. I've seen it here on the HPT. It can be done. It just takes one, and then two, and then three double ups. But you can get there. And Matt makes the call from the small blind now. It's the option for Frank. Oh, he only has one option, it seems like. That's raise. He's got one gear now, and I like it. It's a raise now, going up to 100,000. But at some point, Matt's got to take a stand. I mean, you can't just let Frank run right over him. Yeah, Frank with 10-5 offsuit here. And now he's just playing his chip stack, playing his opponents, and he's being the bully. I like it. So Matt makes the call. We go to the flop. It's six four tray rainbow. A little something for both of them. Matt flopping bottom pair. Frank flopping an open end straight. Matt checks. Frank's gonna bet a hundred thousand chips. Action over to Matt now. Matt makes the call. He's a used car dealer from Overland Park. He listed his career earnings at zero. I can't be right. And look at this turn card, the deuce of hearts. Wow, cue the fireworks. I mean, it not only gives Frank the straight, but it gives Matt the steel wheel draw. A five of hearts and he'll have a straight flush. Frank has the best hand right now. He's got the straight. Matt drawing to the flush and the straight flush draw, as Robert just told you. And also a five for a chop pot for Matt. All kinds of options out here. It's a quarter million now for Matt to make this call. 
And he's not going anywhere, Robert. Matt's thinking, maybe I could get some vindication on Frank here. Finally. And after all that, kind of an anticlimactic river car, the five of clubs. Not so anticlimactic for Matt, because it gives him the same straight, finally. Now, it's always interesting to see when this happens with a straight on the board, if we'll see a bet, maybe an all-in. All-in. Matt says all-in. And that's wow. what Matt's going to do. This actually is a tough call for Frank. I mean, Matt could have a higher straight. So, Robert, what does Frank do here? I mean, well, I mean, majority of the time you have to call because he can afford to lose the chips. If, if he didn't have as many chips as he has, it's a million dollars to win half of a $2 million pot, which now it's three with the call. You gotta make that. If you enjoy our videos and would like to see more, make sure to check out the links in the description. And also, make sure to comment below what you would like to see next, and we will work on your ideas as soon as possible. Yeah, tonight 110,386, and you talk about those blinds, 3060 with a 10K right now. And Mr. Mr. HPT here, Craig Casino, just not getting a whole lot of traction at this final table. So he decides now in the big blind to defend and make the call of 65,000 with his five tray. Sometimes you got to play the card you're dealt. Flop is queen, jack seven. Action will be first to Tom. He's flopped an open-ended straight. I would like a lead at this pot. Let's see what he elects to do. That looks like he's grabbing some chips. And... and Tom's going to bet 125000 125000 yeah. Craig gets out of the way. Now action over to Matt Patton. Well, Matt might be floating here. Uh... You know, he doesn't really have a hand, not, not even really a draw, but he's going to wait for his opponent to show some weakness on the turn. And that turn card is the 10 of hearts. Tom pairs his 10. He's going to check yep. over to Matt. And now this is the execution of the float. Once your opponent shows weakness on the turn to follow it up with a bet and try and wrestle this pot away. Both players with an open-ended straight draw. Tom pairing his 10. And now Matt bets 350,000 chips. 350, is the bet. Yeah, you know, it's it's really interesting. It looked like Tom was about ready to fold there. He's, he's really loose with his cards. Tom thinking over this decision after the bet of 350,000, a million chip pot. Yeah, he can't really be thinking about folding here, could he? He's gotta be thinking about either calling or raising. And he is going to make the call. So to the river we go, and he's going to check in the dark. And that river card is the ace of clubs. So both players yeah. both players make Broadway. Yeah, both players with the nuts. This is obviously going to be uh, an all-in and a call, or a bet and all-in and a call. And these players are going to chop this up, and it's going to be all for naught here. Tom checks over to Matt. A little bit of Hollywood, Hollywooding going on here, uh, but not a lot of drama. <laughs> no, we'll we'll find that out here in the end. Matt taking his time here, and reaching for those chips. See what he decides to wager, and it looks like eight hundred fifty thousand and all in an obvious call. We flip him over. And we'll reconcile, put the chips back. It'll be like it never he happened. interested, and it's because he has Ace-4 suited. And it looks like Sam is going to raise it up. Makes it 85000 to go. Maria, what do you think of that three bet? I like it. I think although Nick has been fairly tight, Sam hasn't really re-raised at all yet. So he's hoping that this three bet will get through here. Unfortunately, it's bad timing. As we can see, Nick has pocket kings. Randy, with even worse timing, decides to go all in with Jack King offsuit. And now Dale in the nine seat announces a raise. He's got pocket queens. We got a big hand brewing here, Maria. Dale decides to four bet with his queens and Nick quickly moves all in. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> uh, Sam is gonna get rid of his ace four. Randy's all in, and he can't feel too good about his hand with the action around him. No, definitely not. And Dale doesn't even have an easy decision here with queens. Little one. Nick five bet all in here. Dale has to feel like he's behind, and you know what? We gotta applaud Dale for being able to lay those queens down right there. That's a big laydown, real big laydown. So here we go, heads up. Nick's king's way ahead. Randy hoping to spike a few jacks on the flop here. No. Randy's gonna need a lot of help here. And here comes the flop. It's deuce, ace, deuce with a couple of clubs. No help for Randy. I think he probably wins too. You can see Randy's percentage graphic down to 1%. That's not good. <laughs> and a deuce of hearts comes on the turn, and you would think that's all she wrote, but actually Randy has a couple chop outs with an ace or a deuce. Well, Randy hoping to do a cat impression and pick up another life here. Let's see the river. Oh, it is an wow. ace. Deuce is full of aces is the winning poker hand. Nick is counterfeited. And just like that, Randy goes from almost out the door to having a second life. More poker.